we're going to take a look at a frequently asked question regarding the firmer migration process from Enterprise to 3PCC, also known as MPP, using WebEx Control Hub. So if you notice on the screen here, I have a number of tasks I've completed and they show ready for migration. The question is, at this point of time, do we need to actually click the complete migration? And the answer is no. The actual steps needed to prep the virtual firmware migration license for the phone and also the needed information to associate the phone once it's migrated to a specific user or workplace has already been completed. What this complete for migration button gives us is going to be a pop-up specifically when you're using CUCM, Cisco Unified Communication Manager, migrating phones from there to WebEx Control Hub. This is going to give you some additional tools to make the process easier. So basically what this offers is a file you can download and this file that you download, if you go to the steps shown in the Cloud Upgrader site, this is under Enterprise to MPP for WebEx calling only, you'll notice there's a step two here from Cisco Unified CM Administration, go to Bulk Administration, Upload, Download Files, then click Add New. And so this is where we would basically go ahead and choose that file. And it's basically the MAC address of the phone or phones that we've entered in the firmware migration process within the CSV template file. And this is going to allow the call manager when you're using bulk administration to identify which specific phones you would like to migrate to MPP firmware for WebEx calling. So that's basically all the function that is offered when you click complete migration is it gives you this pop-up message and then you can download the associate files. The other question that comes up frequently is, and I'll take it down to this right here, is at the very end here, this is if we're using the manual migration method at the very end here, it says, as soon as the migration process is completed, the phone will prompt for an activation code, which you can generate in WebEx Control Hub. If we're using the firmer migration within WebEx Control Hub, meaning we're filling in the CSV file, the template file with the MAC address of the phone, model, who the phone is associated to, like a user or a workplace, site information, etc., etc. Step six does not need to be done because a phone, once it boots up in MPP firmware, also known as 3PCC firmware, it does a handshake with WebEx calling. It'll pull down the appropriate information that was pre-generated via the CSV file that you submitted for the workflow for the firmware migration via WebEx Control Hub. So you do not need to enter in any activation code and you should not be seeing an activation code when a phone comes up. So basically, uh, those might be two items that you may have questions on. Hopefully this video helps answer those frequently asked questions. Thank you for viewing.